max function is used to return the highest value of a column. There are several reasons why finding the maximum value within a range of values might be important. Let's say we run a company in which we sell different products. We may want to find out the product that has sold the most, or maybe find out the sales agent that has the highest amount of sales so that we can either reward them or give them some sort of promotion. We might also want to run a marketing campaign within a social media. And let's say we decide to use a social media influencer. One way we can decide which influencer to choose could be to see uh, you know, an influencer that has the most amount of followers or the most amount of likes when they share a picture or a video because then we that way we can tell or we at least we can assume that they have a wide range of audience such that if we use them to promote a product then it becomes available at least a, a, a wide range of people can see that product so let's switch over to SQL Server and see how the max function is used. Okay, so let's make our comment and we'll say maximum function. I'll just say the max function. Now let's say we want to find the, we want to find within our books table the book that has the highest amount of reviews. How do we find that? So finding the book with the highest review. Okay. So we can uh, let's just let's select our table first. Select all from books. All right. Okay. And all we want to do is within our reviews column. We want to find the, you know, which, well, let's just for now, we want to find the, the, the highest review within our review column. So all we need to do is we select our keyword select, and then we have the max function. So write the max keyword. And because it's a function, we know there will be a bracket and the value will be placed inside. And we want to find the maximum value within our reviews column. Now let's say from books. And when we run this, it tells us that the the highest review we have within our column is 12,450. And we can use an alias here as, let's say as, as highest review. So we, we know that the maximum review within our column within the reviews column is 12,450. Now if you think about it there's another way we can get this value. Now in our previous video we used the top keyword to retrieve the top row within within a table. So one way we can do that as well is to let's say we we can select reviews from books and what we do then is we can order by reviews and we want to order descending right because then this will start from the highest review once we do this when we can run this first but that all we need is we just need the, the first row so if we just do top one and this is going to give us the first record within the books table, which we've ordered by reviews in a descending order. If we run this, it gives us the same value. Okay, so that's one way we can achieve the you know the same result. And by now, you've, you're probably familiar with the the fact that there are multiple ways you in which you can get to the same result but you know using in this scenario using the max function will be the most appropriate way to you know if we were trying to get this number you know the maximum number the the, the highest number of reviews within our column using the max function because one it's you know it's also you don't have to it's it's a lesser query that you have to write to achieve that
Okay. What if we want to find out the most recent year a, a book was released within our table? So let's say find the most recent released year. Or oh, let's say year a book was released. Okay. All we need to do is um, we'll use the select keyword again, and then we have max, and in brackets we have year released from books. And what this would do is give us 2020, which is the year our book, the, the most recent book was released. And, uh, and we could use the same, you know, top font, top keyword to, uh, to get the same result. So if we select top one, And, and, you know, I guess the, you know, if we wanted to find out the a range, you know, not just one record, we could say we want to see, let's say we want to see top three, all right, top three year released from books, and then we just going to bring this down. And then we order by year released, and we want to descend them. All right, and let's run this together. So the first result we have, which is 2020, is the first query, which gives us the most recent year a book was released within our books table. The second query is what we have here. Now remember the top keyword really just returns the top rows and we can you know give a class whatever one just the top one which gives us the you know the first record which would you know which then aligns with the same query we have uh, you know the select max you know it gives us the same result but now what we see is that if we look at the second and third record that's showing 2019 which really isn't what we want we want the result we want is we want to see the three most recent books released within our, you know, or the at least the year released within our books table. But it's repeating this value because the the top keyword just returns the you know the top row, the you know the top rows depending on what we specify. Now, if we wanted to return distinct values, and I kind of gave out the you know I was going to test you guys, but to return the you know, distinct values, all we need to do is just add the distinct keywords. I'm going to copy this. And when you just add distinct and we run this, now it tells us 2019, our most recent one is 2019, followed by, sorry, 2020, followed by 2019 and then 2018. And we can really just, you know, let's select uh, let's say right here, released from books, we order by year released, and we want that descending, so execute. So we can see we have 2020, we have 2019, three, so three books, 2019, and then we have 2018, so, so that's the way we Again, we can achieve the same result using the, you know, either using the max function or using the the top top keyword and you know adding a, a distinct to that as well. But like like I said, the uh, preferred way would be to just use the max function. What if we want to find out the longest books or the, the last, sorry, the longest book written by our authors? And by that time, I mean, we want to print out a table that looks like this. So we have a list of our authors and we want besides that, we want to see the longest book they wrote. Now for most of our authors, because it's just one book within our 
books table, it's just going to be that book and it's just going to print out the, the total number of pages or the page count for that book. But we have Michael Crichton that has multiple books. So what the query is going to do is go into the books table and look at Michael Crichton's books and whichever book has the longest or the most amount of pages, it prints that out. The same thing for Sue Watson as well as Grant Cadon. And if you notice what I did here was also to we've you know we will concatenate the author's first name and author's last name together and then we'll find the maximum pages, which is the longest book or you know technically the longest book they wrote within our within our books table. Okay, so let's say find the longest book by each author. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is we want to concatenate so the author's first name and the author's last name. So uh, author first name. And then we will concatenate that with author's last name and we just need a space. And there is an alias here, but we'll come back to the alias. And then we need the maximum pages. Okay. And then from books. And now we want to group by. We group by our author first name. And auto last name. Because then we that helps us to get the distinct authors as well. And we can order by and let's order by okay, let's let's give our aliases first. So we know that um the alias here will be as we want it to be author's name. So we want author's name but we know that when we run this it's going to confuse sql because it's assuming that you know this is a the s here is a separate string so what we want to do is we add our second single quote and then we have our comma and then we can call this maximum pages as call this total count Okay, and now we can order by order using total count. All right, so let's just go through this again. So we're concatenating our author's first name and author's last name just so that they're in one column. And then we give an alias to that column, which would be author's name. And we have this two single quotes so that, you know, we do get, an, you know, we get it printed out as author's name. We will print out the max pages to find out from our authors which book has the longest amount of pages or the most amount of pages. And we'll call that total count from books. And then we want to group by our author's first name and author's last name so that we get the distinct um, records. And then we we'll order by total count. And let's order descending so that the the book with the most um, but the longest page would be printed out first. So let's run this and uh, let's run this. Okay, so when we just bring this up, so now it shows us George Martin as 864, that's the longest, and then next is Steve Burroughs, and when we look at Michael Crichton, it shows, it shows us 512, and so it would mean out of both the, the two books that we have within our books table that belongs to Michael Crichton, 
the one five one two is the longest, so the other one will, one would be lower than that. And you know, let's let's actually see that. So let's select let's select um all. So let's just select um yeah, let's select all from books, and we'll order by authors authors first authors last name. Arthur's last name. Alright, so let's run both together. Um, yeah, let's run both together. So when we look at Michael Crichton here, 512, and let's see Michael Crichton. So we see that he has two books <coughs> one is Timeline, and the other is Jurassic Park, and 512 and 448. So our first query prints out the 512 because that's obviously longer than 448. And the same thing if we were to look at um, Sue Watson, 316. And if we scroll down, Sue Watson, the other book is 288. It printed out 316. And if we look at Kadon, um, so we have 240 and 256, and it printed out 256.